How you guys doing? Welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy with the Outside Potato Grow Bag Update. Today is June 24th, 2016. Just got done with the lawn and I think we should take a look at the potatoes that we planted. I wonder if that person thinks I'm crazy because I'm talking into the camera in the driveway by myself with a dog. I guess I'm not by myself. I'm with the dog. Let's take a look at the potatoes. All right, guys, as you recall, we planted these things out about a month, month and a half, two months ago. I'll put a link below for how we planted them out very simply. Grow bags, I got two five gallon and one 20 gallon in the back. I think all this is is five potato seedlings. That is it. Maintenance on them has been fairly simple, but more on that later. Again, I think we started off with some miracle crap uh, garden soil, and then I ended up hilling these things up all the way to the top with composted uh, composted manure. Okay, so nothing real complicated going on here, guys. To this point, they've only been fed water, with the exception of one fertilization and I did that at flowering and when was that well that was two days ago when I started to notice flowers and at the point when potatoes put on flowers as soon as those start to die off the tubers begin so right now is an important time we want to keep these really well watered and I might fertilize one more time what did I fertilize with Scott's Super Bloom. It's for flowers. It's for petunias and stuff like that. Um, but it's got a 1255-6. This is a good combination. Any one of the two last numbers here is good for tubers and uh, below-grade type vegetables. Okay, and that's why I did that. I was going to use a strawberry fertilizer. Again, another... Um, vegetable that doesn't need a lot of nitrogen and potatoes do not need a lot of nitrogen because I don't want them to get much taller than this even though they do look kind of beautiful and they are co covering my cable boxes okay so behind that bush there is my cable boxes so I kind of just dug out a little area here put in a pepper bed so I'm kind of landscaping with peppers again and we'll do a quick shoot on that in the back in a second but nonetheless uh, gave this one shot of the Scots uh, a couple days ago. Every uh, couple days I come out here with a five gallon bucket and just kind of top these things off with water, make sure they're good and healthy. Other than that, the uh, underground sprinkling catches them on a, almost a daily basis as well. So these things are pretty happy. Let's take a look at some landscaping with peppers. All right guys, now we're sitting in the back here. Um, and this is where I've got my pepper bed this year. And unlike uh, two years ago when I planted peppers up near the house, these guys have a whole different profile over here. Full sun all day long. Uh, the sun is setting right now, so that's why you don't see sun. But nonetheless, um, when they were up by the house, they uh, only got about at most six hours of sun a day. They got tall and leggy, but nonetheless, I got a great harvest and it looked kind of cool. Filled in the space near the house. But these get full sun and it's been windy the last... Uh, couple weeks up here in Michigan probably due to a progressive type derecho El Nino something 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 whatever they the weatherman calls it calls this junk but anyways um, and what that has done with the wind is it's really strengthened up the base and stems of these plants the stalks these things probably are not going to need any staking or caging once they put on fruit I've never seen stems so thick on pepper plants before it's absolutely unbelievable in addition to this, I cut the lawn out here um, and just got the top portion out to uh, around this cable boxes and stuff and just kind of set up a little garden, vegetable garden landscape for the peppers. In here is about eight bags of compost and manure. So about 200 pounds of compost and manure. That's, that's quite a bit. Well, no, I guess eight times 40. That's 320 pounds. That's 320 pounds. Yeah, I think so. I'm college educated. Anyway, um, nonetheless, 
uh, that's a lot of compost and manure, no fertilizer, no nothing. Underneath that, uh, the natural soil here is, is like blow sand, beach sand, so really good drainage. Peppers do not like to sit uh, with wet feet, as they say. Another interesting thing that I found while reading about peppers, bell peppers, any kind of peppers, is from an old farmer's almanac from the early 1900s, they said to plant peppers in pairs for a couple of reasons. A, you plant the two species closer to uh, closer together than um, you normally would others, and what they will do is help support each other as they grow up. It's kind of a natural staking method, and in addition, it also helps with pollination between the two plants. So plant peppers a little closer together in pairs. Thought that was interesting. Did that, and uh, I think I'm getting pretty rewarded uh, with these peppers. They are stout and bushy, and just starting to flower and put on peppers. So I'm real happy with that. So let's do a quick close-up on just these uh, varieties here, and we'll cut her short. Potato flowers, guys. Some close-up on the peppers. Look at those stems. Absolutely incredible. Peace out, indoor hydroponics.